Good day, good day. Today we are going to focus on the current account note. Um, as as Ndeweni and as colleagues are partners in this business, the financial year ends on dating September 2019. So if the year ends on dating September 2019, it means that this year started on 1 October 2018. Okay. Complete the current account notes for the financial year end. Complete the current account note. Okay, so we are given the, inf the information, the adjustment, adjustment number B on date one, March 2019. Collins increased his capital contribution with 50,000. This was entered in the box, meaning that this amount is included in this 450. The partnership agreement states the following. The interest is 12% per annum. So let's calculate the interest for each partner. So let's start with Dubin. So Dubin is capital is 350. So 350. 350 times. 12% is equal to 350 times 12 divided by 100 is equal to 42,000. That is the interest on capital for doing. Let's go and report it. Oh, it's already reported. Okay. Let's go back for let's go back for Colis. So Colis's capital is 450. Remember there was a capital that was uh, added during the year for 450 for 50,000. So this is a capital contribution for the year. So we need to subtract it here. So this we're going to find out that at the beginning of the year, how much was the capital? So at the beginning of the year, the capital was 400,000. So 400,000 times 12% is equal to, this is the capital that stayed for the whole year. Times 12 divided by 100 is equal to 48,000. So it's 48,000 plus, and then now we're calculating the one for 50,000, the one that is still in stage for the whole year. The one that was included on one on date one March twenty nineteen. So this one uh, stayed from one April twenty nineteen to eighty September twenty nineteen. So April, May, June, July, August, September. This one stayed for six months. So we're going to say 50,000 times 12% times 6, o 6 over 12 is equal to 50,000 times 12 divided by 100 times 6 over 12 is equal to 3,000. So it's 3,000. So 48,000 plus 3,000 is equal to 51,000. 
in internet news then Kodisi received an annual salary of 240 so the salary for Kodisi is 240 240,000 then when to win to win receive a salary of 5,000 per month more than policy due to extra management responsibilities so the salary that you are looking for it is a salary for the year so they gave us a salary per month so we need to multiply by 12 no, okay. We made a mistake. Okay. Let's write the statement again. They said the way I receive a salary of five thousand per month more than then policy due to uh, extra management responsibilities. So what we are going to do is we are going to say 5,000 times 12 times 12 is equal to 60,000. So we are going to add this salary on top of this salary of colleagues because they said, because they said, to when you receive a salary of 5,000 per month, more than could be due to extra management responsibilities. So plus 60,000. So his salary is, is multiplied by 60,000 per year. So it's equal to, so it's going to be 240 plus 60,000 is equal to 300,000 and then the bonuses policy receive a bonus of 10% of his salary 10% of his salary so his salary is 240 so we are going to say 240 times 10% is equal to 240 times 10 times 10 okay 240 times 10 divided by 100 is equal to 24,000 this is a bonus for colleagues 24,000 no colleagues so to win has no bonus now so if we total all of this this will be this will give us a primary distribution to add all of this must give us a primary distribution so 300,000 plus 42,000 is equal to 342,000. Then policy 240,000 plus 51,000 plus 24,000. Is equal to 315,000. So now we have the prime, I mean, now we have the final distribution. The final distribution. So to get the final distribution, we must take the net profit 
for the year. So how much is our net profit? Who's giving? Oh, we are giving. The net profit is 750. So you take the net profit. And then you subtract the primary distributions. So So the net profit is 750. It's here above 750. So you take the net profit, then you, start, you subtract the primary distributions. So the first one is 342 minus 342 minus 350. Is equal to so seven fifty minus three forty two thousand minus three fifty thousand is equal to ninety three thousand. This is the remaining profit. So what did they say about the remaining profit? They say the remaining profits are shared equally between the partners. So because we have two partners, we have to divide by two because we are sharing the profit equally. So 93,000 divided by two is equal to 46,500. 46,500. 46,500. Then, when we add the primary, now we need to add the primary end and the final. So we're going to get the net profit. So 342 plus, so now we are adding them. Adding the final and the primary, so we're going to get 388 500. Then for this one, it's 350 thousand plus 46 500 is equal to 361 500. Then once we get here. We get the retained income for the year. So to get the retained income for the year, we say the net profit minus bonus for each partner. For each partner. So to get eight five hundred. Minus three forty five thousand is equal to forty three thousand five hundred. Forty three thousand five hundred. Then for, for this one is three sixty one. Three sixty one. 500 minus 375. So we put a negative. So we have to write in brackets. That's 18,500. Now, we need to get the balance at the end. To get the balance at the end. So, to get the balance at the end, we need to add them. So, see, I retained income for the year plus 
a phalanx at the beginning. So this phalanx, um, this phalanx is coming from here. So you can see that uh, the current account of Ntubeni is debited. That is why it has a, a negative balance. So here we need to subtract it to get the balance at the end. So 43,500 minus 80,000 is equal to 18,500. So for this one, because it has a negative balance, we're going to say negative 13,000 negative 18,000 plus 10,500 plus 10,500 is equal to 2,500 negative 1. 2,500. Then we are done.